Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we will be solving one very interesting radical equation for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing one exponential property a power b whole power c equal to a power b times c. So I will use this property for 8 power 13 which we can write 2 cube as 8 whole power 13. Using this exponential property I can write 2 power 3 times 13 which will be equal to 2 power 39. Similarly 4 power 18 we can write 2 square as 4 power is 18 which will be equal to 2 power 2 times 18 36. Now we will write our equation x cube minus 2 raised to the power 39 equal to 2 raised to the power 36 times cube root of x plus 2 raised to the power 12. Now we will use substitutions. Let us consider 2 raised to the power 12 times y equal to x. So I can write equation as 2 power 12 times y whole cube minus 2 power 39 equal to 2 power 36 times cube root of 2 power 12 times y plus 2 power 12. Now we can take 2 power 12 common from this radicand. And here I will use the same property. We will get 2 raised to the power 12 times 3, 36. Let me write here. 2 power 36 times y cube minus 2 power 39 equal to 2 power 36 times cube root of 2 power 12 is common. In the bracket we will be getting y plus 1. Now we can divide our equation by 2 power 36. So let's divide. So I will divide here by 2 power 36. So in the RHS, so this we will cancel. Now I can write our equation as y cube minus 2 power 39 over 2 power 36 equal to cube root of 2 power 12 times cube root of, let's split our radicand, cube root of y plus 1. So we know the property a power b over a power c. Anytime we can write a power b minus c. So I can write here 2 power 39 minus 36, so 2 cube. y cube minus 2 cube equal to cube root of 2 raised to the power 12. This will be equal to 2 power 12 times 1 over 3. And then we have cube root of y plus 1. Now here we can cancel 12 with 3. So we will get power 4. Now I can write y cube minus 8 equal to 2 power 4 is 16 times cube root of y plus 1. Now we will split 16. So we can write 8 times 2. But before that friends, if you are an Olympiad aspirant or planning to do preparation for SOF, Crest, Unicus, Silver Zone, Asset, Indian Talent Olympiad, Hummingbird from grade 2 to grade 10, then Olympiad Success offers you live interactive sessions, PYQs, tests and many more. Please check out the description box for further details and use referral code GYAN15 to get 15% discount. Let's come back to our problem. 
so i will write our equation once y cube minus 8 equal to 16 times cube root of y plus 1 now we will split 16 as 8 times 2 so y cube minus 8 equal to 8 times 2 times cube root of y plus 1 now this 2 we can write cube root of 8 times cube root of y plus 1. Now I will club these two radicands with cube root. So we can write y cube minus 8 equal to 8 times cube root of 8y plus 1. Or we can write y cube minus 8 equal to 8 times cube root of 8y plus 8. Now we will consider this radicand 8y plus 8 equal to z cube. So we can write our equation y cube minus 8 equal to 8 times cube root of z cube which will be equal to y cube minus 8 equal to 8z. Now from this substitution equation from here we can write z cube equal to 8y plus 8 or we can write z cube minus 8 equal to 8y. So we will consider these two equations. Let me write both y cube minus 8 equal to 8 times z, z cube minus 8 equal to 8 times y. Now I will subtract second equation from first one. So sign change will be there. So in LHS minus 8 plus 8 will be cancelled out. We will get only y cube minus z cube. In RHS, we will get 8 is common, z minus y. Or we can write minus 8 times y minus z. Now take this term to the LHS. So we can write y cube minus z cube plus 8 times y minus z equal to 0. Now we will apply a cube minus b cube formula here. So I can write y minus z times y square plus z square plus yz plus 8 times y minus z equal to 0. y minus z is common. We will write y square plus z square plus yz plus 8 equal to 0 or we can write either y minus z will be 0 or y square plus z square plus y z plus 8 equal to 0. Let's solve both the equations one by one. So I will consider first equation first y minus z equal to 0. So from here I can write y equal to z. Now we will write our second equation. So I can write here y square plus z square plus yz equal to minus 8. Now we will multiply both sides by 4. So we will write 4y square plus 4z square plus 4yz equal to 4 times 8, 32, minus 32. Now I will split 4z square. So I will write 4y square as it is, plus z square. And then third term 4yz. Now remaining 3z square 
equal to minus 32. Now from first three terms we can see this is one perfect square of 2y plus z. 2y whole square 4y square, z whole square z square, 2 times 2y times z is 4yz. Plus 3z square equal to negative 32. Now sum of two squares. Sum of squares in LHS and RHS is negative. So sum of squares cannot be negative for real solutions. So I will write here this will generate complex solutions. So we can reject this equation for solution. Now I will consider y equal to z. Let me write equation once. y cube minus 8 equal to 8 times z. Now we have y equal to z. So here I will write y. So I can write y cube minus 8 equal to 8 times y. Let's write all the terms to one side. y cube minus 8y minus 8 equal to 0. Now I will split our middle term minus 8y. y cube minus 4y minus 4y. Minus 8 equal to 0. Now from first two terms we can see y is common. So y square minus 4 will be in the bracket. From last two minus 4 is common. We will get y plus 2 in the bracket. Now here y square minus 2 square. So we can apply the difference of 2 squares formula y plus 2 times y minus 2 minus 4 y plus 2 equal to 0. Now y plus 2 is common. So we will get y times y minus 2. So y square minus 2y then minus 4 equal to 0. Or we can write from here y will be equal to minus 2 once we will put y plus 2 equal to 0 and from this quadratic part if I will put y square minus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 we have to use quadratic formula. So let me write equation y square minus 2y minus 4 equal to 0. So y will be equal to as per formula minus p plus minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. Where a is coefficient of y square 1, b is coefficient of y negative 2 and c is constant minus 4. Let's apply all the values to get y. So I will write minus of minus 2, 2 plus minus square root of b square minus 2 square 4 minus 4 times 1 times minus 4 over 2 times 1 which will give us 2 plus minus square root 4 plus 16 so 20 over 2. Now we can write root 20 as 2 root 5 over 2 which will give us 1 plus minus square root 5. So we have three values of y. y equal to negative 2, y equal to 1 plus root 5 and y equal to 1 minus root 5. Now I will multiply both sides by 2 power 12 as our substitution was 2 power 12 times y. So let's multiply both sides by 2 power 12. 2 power 12. Now LHS will become x. 2 power 12 times y is x. 
RHS I will write minus 1 times 2 times 2 power 12. Then 2 power 12 times 1 plus minus root 5. Or we can write our final answer as minus 2 raised to the power 1 plus 12. So 2 power 13 and 2 power 12 times 1 plus minus square root 5. This will be our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye.